everyone, welcome to, I was gonna say May favorites because you're seeing this in May, but it's April favorites. I'm filming this on April 28th. I feel like I, during this time of quarantine, need to tell you what day it is when I'm filming because events change so rapidly in the world. It places this video in context. So as of right now, it's April 28th in my world and we are still in quarantine. So the biggest favorite has a story, so get comfortable. A lot of you have mentioned you've noticed a change for the better in my skin, it seems brighter, it's glowing. Part of that can be attributed to I've been wearing a little less makeup, but the reality is I put up three videos a day and I'm on Instagram all the time, so I usually actually wear makeup. So I don't think that's it. I do think it's the addition of this product. It's the Skin SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic, I don't know, thing. It's just Skin SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. And there is a story. So I have tried vitamin C serums in the past. The ones that are the best are supposed to have L-ascorbic acid. And I have tried two or three brands, well-recommended brands that I broke out in horrible cystic acne. So I just assumed L-ascorbic acid was not for me. And I tried other forms of vitamin C, which work, but I never got the results like people get from that with L-ascorbic acid. Fast forward, I got this in PR, I kind of stuck it behind some things thinking, do I really wanna try that? I mean, it's really not worked well for me before. I was speaking to Tammy from Tammy's Ageless Beauty. We have very similar skin in the way it reacts to things. She's had the same issues with vitamin C and she said when she tried skin SkinCeuticals, there was no problem. So I figured, what the heck, this is the perfect time to give it a try and I'm really glad I did because huge difference in my skin, huge. It's been about four or five weeks now and huge changes. So. Even though this was PR and it is crazy pricey and I was hesitant to suggest it, I, I don't wanna hide what the change is. So I will repurchase this when I run out. Now I know some of you are saying, but there's the Timeless Serum and it's supposed to be a dupe. Well, Tammy used it and did not have a great result and had a similar reaction like I we both have with other ones. I just don't feel like I wanna risk it. I know this one works. I'm staying with SkinCeuticals. Another favorite, I've been hearing people talk about it on YouTube and I realized I have this sitting in a drawer. It is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in the shade Highlight. So I pulled it out and started wearing it and wow. It doesn't look like a lot in the pan. In fact, it very much reminds me of the Essence highlighter, except it has more glow to it and more, there's just something more about it. It costs more too. I've been using this on my cheekbones as highlighter, but I got a lot of compliments when I wore it on my lid as an eyeshadow, which a lot of you had recommended I try. So this came in a gift set with a bunch of stuff I'd bought from Laura Mercier. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so glad that I found it in my stash because I've been doing a lot of stash shopping. I should say my favorite way to wear it is just with my bronzer, which is the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer in the crease as a crease shade. It's, it's so easy. And I realized the reason that I love it so much is because it is almost a dupe for my all time favorite eyeshadow combination. This is discontinued, but if you have this around or you happen to find it, I want to mention it. It's from Dior, and I don't even think they still make the two colors. It's called Nude Look, and yes, I know it's old, 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 old. But it's basically a mid-tone matte satin brown and a pale golden shimmer shade. That combination is what I've been wearing all month, just two colors, and I like my makeup so much better. So we're going simple. And I wanna talk about what's going on here. Um, M Cosmetics sent me their new Divine Skies eyeshadow palette, and basically, the two colors that I'm wearing are again, very similar. It's that matte brown in the crease and that light golden shade on the lid. And then just for kicks because I'm filming, I added a little bit of this shade in the outer corner. I love, I love it. I mean, I'm sure I'll go back to more complicated eye looks at some point, but I'm really enjoying this very simple look. And since we're talking about eyeshadow, let's stick with eyeshadow. I rediscovered my love for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette specifically because Mandy Lee was talking about it in her Warm vs. Cool eyeshadow tutorial. And she is very warm toned, much more than, I'm pretty neutral, maybe a little bit warm, but she's really warm toned. And she pulled off the most beautiful eyeshadow look with a lid shade I have never even touched until I watched her video. Where are you? There it is, Cyborg. And I just thought, nope, that can't work on my skin, not doing it. It's silver. It has some pewtery, it's not a, the coolest silver. You can kind of see there's some, there is silver, but there's some brown undertone in it when the light hits it. But she talked about how she balanced it out normally with more like a, like birch, which is a little bit warmer right there. Um, and that's what I did. And again, it's just 
beautiful. So thank you, Mandy. I would not have thought of that unless you mentioned it and it's gorgeous. And now I found a whole different side of the palette that I never really touched and I'm using it. I did want to talk about the blush that I've been wearing almost nonstop for two months and I, it's back in stock, which is why I want to mention it again. It's from M Cosmetics. It's the Heaven's Glow Magic Hour. Look at how it shines. But on the face, it's not too much. I just, it's like the most beautiful, soft, peachy, nude perfection. It's a beautiful shade on the cheeks and that's what I've been wearing. Now let's talk about lips. Again, shopping my stash, rediscovered a love for these probably expired lipsticks and I don't care. They are the Clinique Lip Color Pops. Specifically, I've been wearing shade Beige Pop and Sweet Pop. And Sweet Pop is what I have on right now. They're perfection. I challenge you to find a better department store brand lipstick. They're $19.50 full price. The packaging is amazing. You know exactly what color you're reaching for. It's smooth, it's silky, it's not drying, it's not sticky. There are so many shades. Again, shopping my stash. I've been going through some drawers, reorganizing, and forgot the Clinique had sent me a, a whole set, not a sample, a whole set of their My Happy Fragrances. And this one is Lily of the Beach. Oh, I don't know why I'm suddenly into fragrances now, but if you're looking for the most beautiful floral beachy Lily of the Valley undertone scent for spring summer, it's divine. And like all Clinique products, much more reasonably priced than other department store fragrances. And I love that it's already travel size. Another beauty product that I'm really glad I finally bit the bullet and picked up. And I will admit, I was so against this brand just because of all the hype it got on social media. I mean, I know I'm an, what do you call me, an influencer, but I'm also a consumer like you and, and someone who shops like anybody else and watches other YouTubers and follows people on Instagram. And when you see your feed just inundated with everyone raving about Tula, you're like, really? I get it, I get it. But I am close friends with some of these people and I know them to be honest, moral people. So if they're raving about it, it's good. And so when everyone's like, no, Marnie, you really need to try this Tula, I don't even know what it's called, glow and get it. So yes, you can put it on before you put on your makeup. But what I do, it's like a little roll up stick, it's very minty fresh. So about, you know, late afternoon, I'm looking a little tired. I'm looking tired now. I literally just put it on, I'm gonna just do one eye. So I usually don't swipe twice. I just do it once and a little pat right over my makeup. Look at the difference from an eye that's been touched up and just no balm. Balm, no balm. It smooths everything out. I don't get it. It's amazing. Also, it feels minty fresh. It will wake you up. So, um, and then I would, if I had a tissue, I'd wipe that off, but I don't. So back it goes. I know when it gets really warm, this is going to be a lifesaver. And then the last beauty product that I want to talk about are these guys. I have been having so much fun with these Kiss Glue On Nails, like maybe too much fun. I just put these on. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw how they started. They were like talons that came to a point and I normally do not wear crazy nails like this when I get my nails done. And no, they are not replacing the real nail experience. As soon as I'm able to go back to my nail salon, Z, I'm talking to you, I'm coming back. I'm, I miss her, I miss that social interaction and I enjoy somebody else doing this. These are not easy to take off. I don't care what anybody else says on the internet. It takes about 30 minutes soaking in acetone no matter what I do. So there's that. So I do look forward to getting my acrylic nails back on. If you missed my IGTV video about the Zoya Jelly Cure, that is on my IGTV. I'll put the link in the description box and uh, talk about the differences between that and acrylics and so forth. Okay, so that is it for beauty. Let's talk about clothing real quickly. Um, this, this tank dress, oop, you can see my Soma bra, who cares? This is a tank dress that I picked up on Amazon. I liked it so much, I bought it twice. I also have it in sort of a chambray blue shade. It's just, it's perfect for if you're not leaving the house, it's perfect for if you are leaving the house, it's super comfortable. It could probably double as a nightgown if you're traveling. I mean, it's just fabulous. The price point is amazing, comes in a ton of colors, runs true to size. But what I've been living in is this guy. It's almost embarrassing. I talked about it in my Soma loungewear video. It's like a shrug. It's a fleece short sleeve cardigan basically and I wear it over my pajamas. The house gets sometimes chillier because we have the air conditioning going. 
I love it. I love it. And one day when I'm traveling again, this is coming with me on an airplane. Who knows when that'll be. The only other clothing item I wanna talk about is my renewed love of camo and camo linen pants. And the two that I just picked up this April are um, two styles. The first is, well, I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. It's the camo linen wide leg pants from Walmart. I had to think about that for a minute. Um, because when you hold them up to the camo linen joggers from Nordstrom, other than the color, do you really see a difference in quality? No. In fact, the Walmart ones have a nice finish on the self-tie belt, this nice little gold detail. This one, sorry, I'm flipped in the monitor. This one that the uh, Nordstrom one doesn't actually have, but these are joggers and obviously these are not. And I love both of them for different reasons. I love linen, I love joggers, I love wide leg pants. I love camo, they tick both boxes. These will be on repeat all spring and summer. I also wanna talk a little bit about kitchen stuff and home stuff. You're gonna be seeing, hopefully, if all my stuff shows up, a home organization kind of kitchen cabinet pantry refresh, if you will. I've been ordering some things slowly but surely and changing some things up and pulling out things I haven't been using. And one of those is I have a beautiful silver coffee tea service I got as a wedding gift that was shoved back in a closet because I didn't want to polish it. And I decided I'm, I'm kind of over the rustic farmhouse thing. I'm gonna start using more classic pieces to decorate with as I transition into a new stage in my life. And so I reached out to my friend Alicia Wood from Alicia Wood Lifestyle and asked her, what is her favorite silver polish? And, well, you told, you've heard the story. You probably saw the cleaning product video, Wright's Silver Cream. So after that video, I actually polished the silver, some of it, with that silver cream, and it does work beautifully, but I also learned about a new technique. I will put a link to a video that I followed. You'll need hot water, baking soda, and aluminum foil, and it just takes the tarnish right off just by dipping it in the hot water. It's incredible. So like in minutes, it's it's, tarnish free, and then I just buffed it and then polished it again with this. It's so shiny, it's like I just got it from out of the box. Another thing that I have slowly been adding to my collection are the OXO or OXO, the pop containers. Why have I waited so long? They're incredible. So this is some rice, and I just cut off the directions on how to make it and stuck it in here, and you go like that, and now you have, and then when you go and pop it back in, it's. So these aren't the most inexpensive things in the world, so I've just been ordering a couple at a time, and slowly but surely I'll have enough for my all of my storage needs. But these are amazing, and they come in a ton of different sizes. And then lastly, I wanna talk about uh, Lazy Susan. I ordered one Lazy Susan off of Amazon from M Design. It's a, just acrylic Lazy Susan that I stuck in my spice kind of baking cabinet. I never thought those things would work. I thought they were kind of gimmicky. Total game changer. I don't have to go digging through my cabinet to find stuff and knocking bottles over. Everything that I had fits in that Lazy Susan and I can just get to it like that. It's amazing. And then lastly, really quickly, some book favorites because there's always time for reading books and this month maybe a little more than usual. I may have mentioned this in my March favorites, but Julie Mulhern, who wrote one of my all-time favorite mystery series, The Country Club Murders, also has a different series called The Field's Guide To, and um, she released a new one called The Field's Guide to Pharaoh. It's a fun series, and that came out, and I devoured that. I just, I pre-ordered it, and so I just got it. It's the um, new book from Christy Woodson Harvey. It's called Feels Like Falling. I had to write it down to remember the name. Um, I haven't read it yet, but she's one of my favorites. She's a Southern fiction writer, and her, this one takes place on the beach in North Carolina, so Lisa Lisa D1, you might want to check this one out, and I'm really looking forward to reading it. It's been really hyped up, so plan on getting into that one actually tonight. You may know that I love paranormal fiction, a little, not the serious like science fiction stuff, but more like paranormal mystery comedy type. And one of my favorite authors, Shannon McGuire, released her latest one from her Encrypted series called Imaginary Numbers. She has two, two or three series that I really enjoy, and I will list all those below. So if you're looking for some new paranormal fiction, you're going to love her writing. Those were a lot of favorites, actually, from April, and April went by faster than I thought it would. May, some big things happening in May. Finals, graduation. Oh, not really, but that's okay. Hope you are all doing well. I hope you are all staying safe, and I hope you're all staying sane. I mentioned it before in an Instagram Live, and I truly mean this. 
If you are ever feeling a little lonely, a little lost, and you just want to talk to someone, I am here. Most easy way to get to me is through Instagram, direct message. So I'll put that information down there and over there. If you just need, you know, kind of someone who you're comfortable talking to, but don't really have to see face to face, I get it. I get how that is sometimes. So please feel if you're getting overwhelmed, don't feel that way. You can come talk to me. Thank you so much for watching all my videos in April. Looking forward to hanging out with you more in May. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.